Why, hello there. Sir Richard Cackington III here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today, we have one week left of Season of the Undying. Seven days from now, it's going to be the final day to do things within this season with the new one launching on December 10th. Well, although that's not been officially announced, this current season ends the reset the morning of December 10th, and obviously the new one begins. So this means that you only have one week left to finish any prep and get ready for the next season. This video is going to talk about all of the things I'm going to be doing and I would recommend you do to be as prepared as possible and get a head start next season. And so, Let's get started. Uh, but just before we do, if you're looking for some banging new headphones, I'm partnered with Astro. Click the link in the description down below. It automatically applies a discount to any Astro product, allowing you to save some money and help the channel out. Definition of a win-win right there. All right, now let's start with this prep guide. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get everything out of the current battle pass because that battle pass and all of the items associated with it is going away when the season switches over. And I mention this because it's something that I personally haven't done. I was just focused on leveling up and increasing my power level, not necessarily, as you can see, grabbing the ornaments and even the packages of materials available. But when you're doing this, also pay a little bit of attention because right here, this Ascendant Shard, I can't pick it up. Well, that's actually because I'm full of Ascendant Shards. I have 10 of them, not because I've claimed this. This is an Ascendant Shard I'm gonna miss out on if I don't spend an Ascendant Shard on a piece of armor and then claim this one, you know? So that could happen to you too. Just make sure you're claiming all those items before they disappear. All right, moving on from there, the next thing you really want to be doing is stocking up on bounties. If you're hearing these words, unless you still haven't completed the current season of the Undying Battle Pass, it's not at level 100 yet, you want to stop handing in bounties. Like, if you've completed that Battle Pass, there is no reason to hand in any sort of bounties. You could gain like one extra light level maybe or two within this week, but it's near the end of the season. That's probably not worth it as much as saving all that experience for next season. And saving up bounties did work for Season of the Undying. I was able to level up uh, my Battle Pass and my Seasonal Artifact because of all the stocked up bounties I had within the season previous, which would be Season of Opulence. So that's definitely something you want to do. Save up all of them. If you're running out of space, however, prioritize weekly bounties. They are going to offer more experience uh, per bounty than the other bounties. In fact, it goes weekly bounties on top. So uh, again, it's the new weekly bounties, Vex Offensive, uh, Strike Bounties, Crucible Bounties, Gambit Weekly Bounties, some of the other weekly bounties, for example, 801 Weekly Bounties from like way back in the day, those actually do not offer the same amount of experience, which is important to mention. I digress, weekly bounties on top, then daily bounties and then additional bounties. So if your bounty costs Glimmer, it's at the bottom of the heap for how much experience it actually gives you. Now, in addition to that, saving up on all these bounties is one thing, but what you don't want to do is as soon as Season of the Dawn starts, pop all your bounties. A lot of people did this, including somewhat myself last season, and that's actually a big waste of experience. The first thing you want to do is check the new battle pass. Look for another kind of bonus that was available in this battle pass involving experience gains. Specifically, shared wisdom was a big one. That is something available currently that if you team up, if you go into someone else's fire team with shared wisdom and then you pop your bounties, you're going to get an experience bonus compared to if you just popped your bounties by yourself in orbit or whatever. The thing is, shared wisdom is really weird. It doesn't work if you're like in the tower sometimes. It doesn't work if you're in orbit. It, right now, the most common thing is to go to Sanctuary on the moon with someone and then get the shared uh, wisdom bonus and then pop all your bounties. But make sure that when the new season starts, if you have saved up on all these bounties, maybe do a few activities 
first or pop a bit of your bounties to get that shared wisdom bonus and then find a teammate go somewhere and then go crazy popping all your bounties that's going to result in a bunch more experience than if you just pop them off the bat okay moving on from there another thing you really do want to be doing is stocking up on materials especially there's a few you really want to stock up on obviously if you can stock up on pretty much all of them you know masterwork cores legendary shards etc everything is good but the ones specifically you need is firstly the upgrade cores from the gunsmith those are really the only things that are going to let you infuse weapons and armor up to higher light levels. So when the new season launches, we're probably going to get a light level increase. And if we do, you're going to be leveling up your good stuff. You know, the Izanagi's burden is unlikely to be replaced next season. So you're going to want to bring that with you. So stock up on those now because they are actually pretty expensive, costing around 5,000 glimmer as well as planetary material etc so make sure you're doing all that now so that you're not in next season oh crap i need to buy them now i don't have any planetary materials you go to the spider he's not selling any of the ones you need then you're screwed right do it now next up glimmer glimmer turned out to be super important like incredibly important this season you need it for changing all of your mods you need it for um, resetting your seasonal artifact if you want to try out new mods you need it a ton for buying those additional bounties which are super important to gaining experience and gaining power levels through your seasonal artifact so you want to absolutely stock up on glimmer but importantly because it's relatively easy to stock up on glimmer especially if spider is selling glimmer for legendary shards you really want to invest your glimmer and you can do so by buying a bunch of exotic ships ghost shells and sparrows so you can go into your collections as you can see and buy let's say an exotic ship for 6,000 glimmer then you can dismantle that ship and it's going to give you back 3,000 glimmer now this is not a great investment right you are losing half the glimmer but importantly, what this lets you do is buy a bunch of these cosmetic items, buy a bunch of, you know, exotic ships, then stock up on Glimmer. So buy the ships first and then buy a crap ton of Glimmer, let's say, from the spider, get up to the cap, and then the new season launches. You're going into the new season with max Glimmer. You can spend it however you want, get all those new mods, buy a bunch of bounties, but if you end up getting really low on Glimmer and you're like, oh my goodness, I need Glimmer to infuse this, I'm screwed, you go to Spider, he's not selling Glimmer for legendary shards, he's selling it for a planetary material you don't have, you're like, oh my goodness, I need Glimmer, then you dismantle all those ships that you bought. They're again only going to give you back 3,000, but that is certainly better than nothing. And you're going to gain, you know, 20,000 plus glimmer in an instant. It's kind of like an emergency reserve of glimmer. And because you can get to the cap so easily from Spider, having this emergency reserve is actually a pretty good idea. This is another thing that I personally did for Season of the Undying, and it absolutely came up. The exact scenario I described where it wasn't being sold, I needed Glimmer, I popped all my ships, and then I was good to go. That happened to me. Okay, moving on, planetary materials. You really, really need planetary materials so be checking spider every day and when he is selling planetary materials for legendary shards assuming you have a lot of legendary shards which is kind of the most common thing people have you want to be buying them and this is because of level edging it turns out that and this will likely continue next season wherever the flashpoint is occurring that planetary vendor is going to be giving you gear that is of level. So whatever your average gear score is, your average power level, that is exactly what that gear will be every single time. So with Season of the Undying, the first week, the flashpoint was the EDZ. And of course, the raid launched within that first week. So the people who stocked up 
on dusk light shards had a huge advantage over those who didn't because what it lets you do is go and do a couple of powerful activities you know do your nightfall do your strikes gambit whatever then obviously you're going to have a few gear pieces that are very high and some gear pieces that are very low but your average light level is going to be let's say for next season 970 but of course you have you know 975 helmet 974 gauntlets and then things that are only 965 etc so you can go to wherever the flashpoint is happening and then spam your planetary materials at the vendor and they're going to give you constantly 970 gear everything's going to be 970 and that means that whenever you get something for a piece of gear that's lower than 970, you can replace it. And then you'll suddenly become 971. And then everything you're buying uh, from that vendor is 971. And you can level up really easily by just doing a few powerfuls, going and balancing out with this edging technique using planetary materials. Like it was the absolute key factor in letting people ascend in those power levels until they hit the literal cap of 950 for this season. And if you can't get planetary materials, the next best thing is to get Crucible or Vanguard tokens. Those are going to let you perform that same edging technique, just not as well, but something is better than nothing. Okay, moving on from there, it's also important that this is your last chance to get Vex Offensive weapons. Vex Offensive as an activity is going away, like it is disappearing, its loot pool is going away too when the new season starts. So, if you still want that Pulse Rifle that can come with Feeding Frenzy Multi-Kill Clip, a very good weapon, this is your literal last chance to grind for it. Now apparently Bungie says, that weapon will appear in other loot pools later. Like we're talking months from now, not even in Season of Dawn, perhaps the season after that. So again, if you want these weapons, you need to grind for them this week because they are going away. And there are some pretty good drops on pretty much all of the weapons. The SMG with multi-kill clip and outlaw, I already mentioned the pulse rifle, the hand cannon can get rapid hit kill clip, I believe that's a very good roll. So get on it if you want them. Moving on from there, the last thing I'm going to mention is that this is the final week to do your pinnacles. Now that's very important because we've talked about saving up on bounties, saving up on materials, all of this stuff to help you level quickly right off the bat. Well, you know what's also going to help you level up quickly is just having a head start. And if you haven't done any pinnacles or you're lacking behind in your pinnacles because you feel like you don't need them, well, that means your starting point next season is going to be 950. Whereas someone who is doing all their pinnacles, their starting point is going to be 960. They're going to be 10 light levels ahead of you right off the bat because it affects your actual gear score. So obviously the raid is the best source for pinnacles. Iron Banner isn't terrible either, although it's going away today, but there is still Nightfalls, there is still going to be the Dungeon, and there is still Nightmare Hunts available all to do in the final week. And there's going to be a lot of people on LFGs and so on looking to finish off those final stretch of Pinnacles, so it is going to be, I think, easier than normal to find matches for Nightfalls, etc., get those 100Ks, and just get a few extra light levels, even if you're 950 right now, even if you're not a super hardcore player, just doing a few of them and getting up to 953, 954, let's say, that is still going to give you quite an advantage. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.